Jameis, he's oh. gonna turn. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Okay! 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 Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. It's, happening. it's happening! It's happening! It's happening! It's happening! What is it? Mike Kosicki signed a one-year deal worth three point two five million to sign with the Cincinnati Bengals. Tight end, pass catcher of the future for the Bengals. What was the deal? Three point two five million, one-year deal. So less than Drew Sample. So Drew Sample still a starter. This is what the Bengals continue to do. And I, and I know Gusecki, um, he kind of gets a, a bigger rep than he actually is in value because he scores touchdowns. I mean, he's like um, – Credit Nate since he – Yes, he, Nate. He thank you, chat. Nate. Well, Nate, in all seriousness, I'm, and this isn't a bit here, thank you. You're doing, you're doing God's work. So thank you so much, Nate. Um, but this guy scores a lot of touchdowns. Uh, out of the last five years, he scored at least five touchdowns in three of the years. Um, he only scored two last year. But he only started in 10 games. Like, this guy isn't, like, a bona fide start. But it means something that you know who he is, right? You didn't know who Irv Smith was. You might have known who Aiden Hurst was. But this is similarly in line with the Cincinnati Bengals' moves at tight end. We always joke the Bengals don't value the tight end position. Why would you? Unless you got Travis Kelsey. Unless you got George Kittle. Unless you got Mark Andrews. They're all kind of the same guys. Mike Gusecki, terrible gritty. If you can find that gritty. I'm pulling it up right now. If you can find that gritty, um, that'd be great. Terrible gritty. But I love the move. I love the move, right? This this gives more veteran. It, it, it's nothing in, in, insane, but it gives you a veteran to, to throw it to someone that's not named Drew Sample. All right, let's see that. I mean, this is a horrible pairing for Jamar Chase, but hey, I'll, I'll take it. Waving his disgusting, and probably the only reason he had two touchdowns last year is because he played on the, the New England Patriots. Casey, you've got to have a better gritty than that. You've got uh, to have a better gritty than that. I'm sorry, I, I I've got no uh, no rhythm whatsoever in terms of trying to hit hit the gritty. I can't, I can't. Sorry. Let's see if we can find my gritty. I'm not good at multitasking. There's the other one, the 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 Miami Dolphins one, which is a little a little worse than uh, what I just showed. Let me pull that one up. I just sent you my gritty, and we'll see how it compares to Mike Kosecki's. So I just sent you one of my one of my gritties. Oh, oh here's the here's the Dolphins one. This one is bad. Listen, between Jamar Chase and Mike Kosecki, we've got yeah, an average gritty. You can't gritty. say they're unbelievable there, but Buffalo is the only team that hasn't allowed a touchdown. He's funny down. about it, right? Oh my God, it's terrible. There, but... This is a great move. Well, we'll talk about this. Show my gritty. Show my gritty, and then we'll 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 we'll, we'll dive into Mike Kosecki before we're talking about Joe uh, Joe Mixon and uh, Zach Moss. Man, I'm I'm looking at Kosecki's numbers. Like I said, five six touchdowns a few times. Um, doesn't. I mean, 500, 700 yards, but all right, here's, here's, here's my gritty. See how it compares to Mike Kosecki's. Come on. Pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, now I'm just doing the get the gap. This was directly after we beat the Raiders. I was dancing through the streets of Hamilton. <laughs> all right. That was a couple years ago. That was a, that was a fun night. That was a fun night. Um... Casey, thoughts on Gasecki? Uh, I think it's I think it's an okay signing. Like, you know, if we if we needed a pass catching tight end and a guy that could potentially have a better, you know, a boom type season, I guess is what I would call it, a, a potential to to really shine. Mike Gasecki is the guy. Uh, I really liked him coming out of college. Uh, I believe he was from Penn State. If I'm um, if I remember correctly, and I thought that the Bengals would have a chance to get him, ended up going too early. Um, but, yeah, this is an underrated signing. I, I like it. I think that this is a, a good signing for the Bengals. He was drafted in the second round. Gusecki was. The Cincinnati Bengals ended up taking Jesse Bates that year in the second round. So, so they ended up with a better— It worked out. Listen, yeah. this is a good move. This is a good move. This is, I, I know one thing I, I talked about, I'm tired of uh, revolving doors kind of things. I'm tired of getting middling play on the offensive line for like spending too much money. One thing that I don't think I'm overly tired about is I don't care about the tight end. Like, 
yeah, this is a good move. This is a good move. $3 million for Mike Kosecki. Uh, I'm going to... He's not much of a blocker. He's. I'm seeing people ask if he's a blocker. No, but that's Drew Sample's role. I mean, right. that, that's why we paid Drew Sample the three years. Yeah, we'd like to go shotgun a whole lot too, and we'll, we'll put him out and off the line and stuff like that. I know he comes off the line, but we'll, we'll split him out in the slot and whatnot. It's a good move. This is a uh, great immediate grade. Immediate reaction. Uh, this feels like another B plus to me. Actually, no, this is more like an A minus because okay. it's only a one year deal. I think the money makes sense, especially after what happened to uh, the guy that we're going to talk about next. Um, and it has the potential to be like a really good pass catching threat for the Bengals. Um, someone just mentioned his RAS score and I forgot that that's why I really liked him. Um, he has a really good RAS score. So yeah, I mean, with Joe Burrow, you don't really have to uh, work as hard as well. So Here's, he hasn't really had a quarterback to to shine with as of yet. E yes, yes. Here's the thing that I think excites a lot of people. Um, you know, my take, like everyone has their one like take that just ru like, might be a little hot and, and everyone disagrees with. Mine obviously is the running back thing. Um, there's one that is very prevalent. People hate the idea of taking a tight end in the first round, and it's similar in the same jest, right? Those don't pan out a whole lot. Few and far between when a tight end pans out. I've always said that tight ends the, is a luxury, right? It's uh, outside of the top three guys. What's it matter? So the idea that Kaseki then you know, negates the idea that the Bengals are going to go get Brock Bowers, which I know some people had their hearts set on Brock Bowers, but there's a lot of people that the idea of drafting a tight end in the first round makes them sick. And now we don't have to worry about it, presumably. Yeah. Sometimes the Bengals do do uh, mischievous. They, they like to get mischievous. They like to get, uh, I think they're a little too clever. But Gusecki, Bengals, I give it, not as, I don't like it as much as the Geno Stone. I still like it, B+. I like the moves, every move that Bengals have made so far.